just filming these two cars in the paddock, in the park I should say. It's good to see what they get up to, these birds. Look at them. They're so happy. You know, they don't ask for much. They have a bit of food, a bit of water, they're happy. That's how human beings should be. Grateful for what we got. Yeah. It's hard to film when the sun's on your phone and you're trying to film. They're amazing, these galahs and cockies. They've got 80 pounds in their, in their jaw, in their beak. It's amazing. You look up how many pounds a cocky or a galah's got in their beak and you'll be shocked. It's 80 pounds, I was told. It's pretty strong. They're old ones. Well, they could be too. No, it's hard to tell. The girls have got red eyes and the boys have got black eyes. And they're watching everything I'm doing out of the corner of their eye. When I was really young, I had one. My uncle gave it to me and I called him Lucky because he got him. What happened is he was coming through Rubber Glen and uh, one of the trucks hit him and it um, broke one of his wings and he pulled up because he seen it happen and he rescued this galah and he gave it to me as a young boy and I've never forgotten about the galahs or the cockies Hogan come here just taking Hogan for a walk and Maggie's giving them a hard time they're just happy sitting there um, doing their shopping as you call it see the, the colours change. Getting back to the eyes, the girls have got red eyes and the boys have got black and I think it's only the girls that talk. You can teach them to talk apparently. The boys don't pick it up as good. I love wildlife. Without wildlife, we wouldn't be here today, you know. They were here first, and we come here second. The animals were here first, like that dead fox I found on the side of the road. That, that sort of, you know, that was so sad. Because that fox was here first, and then the man come along and did what he did. We took the land off these animals as well, you know. The Aborigines say the white man come along, and took the land, yeah they did, but then, then, then everyone took the land off the animals, you know, and that's just as sad when you think about it too, yeah. I'm going to try to bring some food down for them, some galah food, and uh, sprinkle it on the ground and get them to eat it. He's taking Hogan for a walk, hey hoax. Hogan, hey. At the park with me today. I could sit here all day watching these two birds. I think what they're doing is they're um, pulling the roots of the grass out and eating the bottom of the grass because it's more nicer to eat. Alright guys, keep out of the sun, be kind to yourself and try to have a nice day, yeah?